This is an update to the Artimate system where you can animate your stills. And so I'm taking you through all of the new options and the download now will automatically give you Artimate version two. I've made it easier to animate and so I'm gonna take you through this now. First thing to note is you need to have a copy of your file or another version of your file. You don't wanna use the original with the layers because this will flatten your file and you won't be able to get it back. So please make sure that you're using a copy or flat version of your file. Let's start with Artimate Timeline. This is the option that you use when you start to set everything up. It is also the option you can use if you're a Story Art member, you'll get this on its own to use to create animations with overlays and other videos and things like that. So the Artimate Timeline part of this action is available to all members, but the whole action with all of the movement and the animation is part of the Artimate action pack. Let's press play. So now we're all set up, ready to go. You can see if you did have some other videos, you can drop them in over here and you can use blending modes to adjust so you can actually add other animations to this. The next thing we wanna do is first of all, Artimate Auto. Now this is a really, really quick way of animating and it will do it automatically for you. You just need to draw where you want it to do it. So we'll press play says use the marquee tool to draw. So we'll do that. Just drawing with any selection tool really that you wanna use, but we'll uh, choose this section and we'll press play. And then you can brush out areas that you don't want if you want to brush on the mask. So, you know, you can reveal certain areas, but I'm happy with it like that. And if I press play, but you can see the movement here and how it's running. If we zoom back out onto the timeline here, you can see what it does. It actually goes forwards and then it goes backwards, meaning that it will loop. All right, so next, if you want more control over your animation. So if we press play, again, it asks you to choose an area that you want to animate. So we'll press Stop, we'll uh, choose an area of water above her head there. Press play. Now we need to stretch. This is the first point. So this is a two point animation. So we press stop, we use the free transform tool and let's just move the water like that. So it becomes bigger. Press play again and we do it again. So this is as I said, a two part animation. So this is how it will look when it ends. So let's just uh, even twist it a little bit and bring it down there. Double click, press play. Any areas that we don't want it to show up, if we want to brush it out, we can do so. But if we press play, we now have both animations happening at the same time. So you can keep adding and adding and adding. You don't have to be restricted to one animation. So for example, now, if you want to add some more animation down here, let's use the multi-movement option. We press play. Again, it allows us to draw. So we can just choose in this bit there, press play stretch and rotate that area there. So we're going to just move that around a little bit and we do it again. This is the second part of that animation. So let's stretch it a little more, bring it over here a bit more. Then we press play again, brush any areas that we don't want. I'm happy with it like this and we press play. So now we've got an animation up here. We've got an animation down here and we've got an animation over here. Now, if you actually wanted to use a blending mode on any of these animations, you could do so. So this one here, for example, you could change it to something like screen mode to make it really white. You could change it to color dodge. You could change it to soft light. So there's a few different ones that you can use. And if we use a blending mode, for things like water and sky, sometimes that can have an even greater impact and look even more impressive. Okay, now with exporting, you will notice that I've dropped out the animate as a GIF. Unfortunately, the GIF options seem to be a little bit uh, glitchy and not working for everyone depending on their system. So I thought rather than it be frustrating, I will take that out. You can still try exporting as a GIF 
just by going to file and export and save for web legacy but keep in mind that may or may not work for you mp4s are much higher quality and on facebook and everywhere else they do loop so i prefer mp4s to keep all the resolution of your beautiful photos so if we press play right now it will ask us where it wants us to save uh, or it will be automatically the last place that you saved it it will create this at the size that your image is so we click render we wait for it to render it may take a little while depending on your system but I'll show you the finished product. So now we have the completed animation. Uh, you can see here that it will continue to go for quite some time and then if you want to loop it, you can. And so that is the update to Artimate. I hope you enjoy all the changes. I'd love to see all of your finished animations.